Thank you all for coming for this uh, wonderful Toastmaster program. On December 9th, there was a miracle happened. There were 20 kids in the room. They all were so dressed up very well. And they were so enthusiastic to give their final speech. And after the program, that is their graduation program on their youth leadership part, they felt so confident, so motivated that whatever they have learned from that program, they gave everything. That was the one of the happiest moments that I felt through. I just wanted to express the same thing to you that in future you can run the similar program and you can motivate the young kids on how to communicate and how to develop their leadership skills. Here you go. So what is youth leadership program? The youth leadership program is one of the program that is conducted by the Toastmaster International and it is nothing but it's an informal course in the arts of communication and leadership. This is the program that helps the young kids from the 6th grade to the 12th grade to develop their leadership and communication skills and develop their speech crafting skills to make sure that they are equipped to write their own speeches, <coughs> deliver the speeches, and at the same time, it also helps to uh, equip for the group discussions in future. So all those objectives that put together in a single program as part of this youth leadership program. And moreover, this is mainly, again, targeted to, to the young youth, as well as this helps our district, our club, to motivate our, our own kids as well as our network of kids and to achieve some of the uh, club and district goals also. So that is one of the important uh, goals as well as motivation towards conducting this youth leadership program. When it comes to youth leadership program, there are several components involved. I just wanted to go through one by one. The youth leadership program it has to be run by one of our club members and whoever runs, he or she will be the coordinator for this program. And when it comes to the supplies, it's very minimal cost. It is like for five participants, you'll be paying like five dollars. So it will be like dollar per person. And you'll be, each package will have like a, a handbook and there'll be one coordinator guide and five certificates. So all comes for five dollars. And when we did, we had initially 25 kids, but um, due to the circumstances, we end up having at the end uh, 20 kids participated for this <coughs> eight week long program. And we had a very strict rules. If they fail to attend two sessions, they'll be out of the program. And we started it just like the Toastmaster program that we conduct now. We had a fixed agenda for the entire eight weeks. And we conducted at the library, the new Tampa library. For, you know, they provide the rooms for free. And at the same time, you know, we maintain the, the time. It's 10 to 12, so they have to be there and everybody. So, those are the things, you know, we, we made the rules at the first class. Sometimes, you know, we may collect, you can collect from the participants small fee to cover the expenses. Suppose if you are conducting outside, other than the free location, you can conduct, you can collect small fees. Or, um, at the same time, you know, as per the Toastmasters rules, we should not be collecting any uh, fee for it. 
as the Toastmaster Club should sponsor for the program. The next one is um, the sessions that we ran, each session ran for two hours. And every, the, for the entire eight weeks, the each week we have the handbook provides the fixed agenda for it. And to develop the leadership skills for the youth, just like what we have here, the president, vice president, secretary, um, sergeant of arms, everyone will be selected as for the first four weeks as well as for the next four weeks. So every participant will have the opportunity to play the role. Even another uh, one of the uh, important role that we, I learned was that um, it is called um, JM. It's nothing but joke master. At the start of the meeting, the joke master has to come in the front. He has to tell a joke in order to encourage the participants, just to you know, warm up the participants. So they had that uh, joke master uh, role on it. And at the same time, at least for the entire eight weeks, each one will have the opportunity to speak three times. And at the same time, each one will have opportunity to evaluate others <coughs> for the, it is like, uh, just like how we evaluate here. And um, the each one, when they give a presentation, they have to give at least from three to five minutes of speech. So think of, within that eight weeks program, they have to deliver three speeches that is worth of three to five minutes every time. When I have when I was going through that like a second class, because that is the, the first time they're speaking, like five kids, I can feel the difference of uh, how they started. Because some of them, they, they were able to speak only one minute, or one and a half minutes. All they said about was just, just like an uh, icebreaker. They talked about themselves for a minute, and then they walked away. But the next time, when they came up, they were able to speak for three minutes about what their hobbies, or what they care about the world and things like that. But at the end, when they talked about for three to five minutes, <coughs> I would say like at least five kids, they went above five minutes, expressing whatever they can. That is, they used as much as stage time possible. And as we have uh, the table topics, one of the week we did the table topics also to just to get to know the uh, kids so that they can talk freely what they think at that point about those questions because we had a lot of questions pre-printed questions all we just just read those questions they have to come up with the answers so that was also very much useful and as part of this entire um, youth literacy program, we went through vocal varieties and how you can use the vocal variety to enrich your speech and how to organize the speech, basically how to start, how to uh, run the speech and how many points you can take on a given speech within that five minutes. And even we explained about how many words that can you can fit in a per page or two pages so that you can complete your speech in within the time frame, say for five minutes. I think I have, we gave a number of 160 words to complete your five minute speech. That was the uh, uh, speed, uh, uh, the, the week if you speak, <coughs> ultimately you can finish your speech in five minutes. So those are the tips that we gave. And at the same time, how you can use your hands and eye contact and facial expressions to express this to your speeches. Those gestures, we gave all those tips to them. It is again based on every single week, we'll have at least 30 minutes to spend on it to just give uh, on all these type of various type of uh, speech activities that uh, we gave those tips on. And, and one of the uh, class, what we explained was about uh, how to choose the vocabulary how to choose the right words to express. And at the same time, we explained about the voice modulation also. 
some of the words that you can just um, you can express it in such a way that people can grasp it immediately. So if we explain them. What is the use of uh, conducting this youth leadership program for the young generation? One of the benefits for us is to increase the members. By when you are teaching the kids, ultimately the parents may listen about the Toastmasters, and you can tell them about the importance of Toastmasters. And at least they can come and attend the Toastmaster program wherever uh, they are residing. And it is one of our uh, goodwill and awareness of the Toastmasters in the community. Because the program that we conducted, we did everything for free. And we even we provided the snacks for all the kids because they are staying there for two hours. They didn't want to get bored. So we had a break time. We provided the water and snacks. And um, at the eighth week, uh, we had a massive uh, potluck dinner. Everybody cooked in, cooked and uh, provided the food, and uh, we all had a good time. And how do we make this uh, youth leadership program very successful? Suppose if you are going to conduct, um, say, down the line this year, make sure when you are observing the kid, <coughs> do not try to observe so many mistakes. Try to see what the background he is coming from. We had a kid, um, always he was able to talk one minute, but we were able to coach him slowly by staff. At the end of the program, he was able to speak for six minutes. He was so shy, very nervous. We were able to guide them on one-on-one. -on -one. And he was able to come, up, come out of all those uh, weakness. So that is one of the things um, we learned. You know, treat the person, not the symptoms. Again, just like the Toastmaster program that we have here, we were able to, uh, we were giving an opportunity to every single one to speak during each and every session so that they will have a chance to express their ideas and thoughts. And at the same time, we had our own uh, rules also. And moreover, uh, we concentrated on reason behind, not the process. Because our goal is to make sure that the kids get ultimate experience on leadership and as well as the communication skills. Finally, as we had uh, 20 kids graduated, we provided the certificates. And we had our chief guest, including Beth, was there. And she encouraged all the kids to further go to the next level because they can attend as many OLPs possible until 18, age of 18. So, you know, if you get a chance, you can do a youth leadership program in your area. You know, we are here to help you. Please make a goal this year at least have one OLP program you can conduct because you have many, many opportunities, many, many youth there willing to come for this program, just like uh, Boy Scouts, you know, or any school. If you go and stop by their principal office, they can provide 20 kids. You can conduct in the weekends and make them fully aware of what kind of opportunities we have for free, and then they can enrich their um, leadership and communication skills. This is one of the worth serving um, community service uh, that I can think of. Again, thank you very much. Do you have any questions?